to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and do a quick review of a fragrance from the House of Creed. The fragrance we're talking about today is called Vintage Tabarone. Now, Vintage Tabarone, I actually assumed initially that it was uh, really just the original formulation of a fragrance that I've already reviewed called Tabarone Millicene. But in reality, when you smell the two, it's really not. But I'll get to that in a second. Now, the fragrance was re released in 1875. Um, I put release in quotations just because I still don't buy Creed's um, original story and how it was released in 1875 and yet we don't have any proof of that but never mind let's not even touch upon that all I really care about is the fragrance today and we won't turn this into a, a larger discussion now I want to start off by thanking giving a heartfelt thank out uh, to Creed Frags or Riz, uh, Riz Frags uh, 34 uh, who was the one who actually sent me uh, this sample of uh, the original vintage Tamarone. Now, it was a small sample, so I wasn't able to go through and do a complete review, but it was enough for me to actually get my nose on it uh, and, you know, really kind of test it out and figure out what I thought about it. Uh, so, heartfelt thank you. Thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. And without that, without his, uh, you know, sending me the fragrance, I never would have been able to do it. This is something that I have not been able to find, and I'm really thankful Really, uh, he's a great guy, and you know, for sending me this fragrance, so I can go ahead and uh, take my or get my nose on. All right. So uh, that aside, so this scent, I'm gonna I'm gonna say right off the bat, is not like Tabarone Millicium at all. It's only similar in the fact that it does have a tobacco type vibe to it. The, the tobacco type vibe in Tabarone Millicium is more of a fresh vibe to it. It's fresh, but at the same time, it's got a little dark vibe to it. This scent is a dark scent through and through. It's more like a dark uh, fougere, if you will. It's dark, but at the same time, it's, it's like, it's not concentrated. It's dark, but it's got a huge cloud above it. And essentially, when you spray this, the, th the four things that came to mind immediately were, okay, this smells like a barbershop fragrance. Two, this smells like an old school fragrance. This is something that I can definitely uh, feel that, it, that it's an older uh, fragrance, if you will. Three, I really <clears throat> was struck by the fact that <clears throat> I saw the notes for this fragrance and immediately thought, okay, now, this is going to be interesting, but when I smelled it, I got a leather note. And I can definitely tell from the oak moss that's coming from this one, but I definitely got a leather note coming in this, which is not listed in the notes. So that was kind of surprising to me, but I did get a smooth woods. So if I'm going to go ahead and describe this scent just right off the bat, it really does smell like an old school barbershop fragrance uh, that's got smooth woods in it. Uh, it's, you know, all of that, you know, you know kind of put together in it. At the end of the day, it's definitely a scent that I would categorize, if you are a fan of Creed's, and if you are a fan of those dark old school fragrances, it's probably something that you want to get your nose on and possibly uh, purchase. But for the price that it's going on and for this rarity, I absolutely would not, you know, uh, would not ever go for it. There are many similar scents that I can kind of think of off the top of my head that don't necessarily have the quality that this has because this does has qual have quality into it. I will not deny this its fact. It's a rich fragrance, it's very involved, and it does have quality to it. But is it quality worth how much it's going for right now, which I saw it upwards of 600 plus, and that's, uh, you know, for some of the harder versions to find. So even with that, I'm just like, you know, it's, <clears throat> if you have it already, fantastic it might not be worth you know hunting for though just just because of what it's actually like or worth so so let's you know just kind of go through the fragrance from the start smell you get a barbershop type fragrance you get uh, a little bit more of like I want to say like an ambery type vibe to it and then as the fragrance kind of dries down you start to get more of a leathery note you start to get a little bit more of the tobacco mist coming for it and all this while it's really projecting even the small amount that i got it projected a good amount and putting it even just on my hands when i actually did a full application for this this was bumping it was really projecting it's a fragrance that projects it's a fragrance that lasts a good amount of time on my skin despite the fact that it's hot it still lasted a good at least eight hours, which is great for a creep. So 
you know, on those aspects, it was absolutely fantastic. All right. So if I'm going to go ahead and recommend what, 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 what should you get? Uh, the Tavarone Millicene or the Vintage Tavarone. I'm going to have to say they're two completely different fragrances. I really can't recommend one or the other. Uh, they're just that much different. One is more of a lighter fragrance, uh, a lighter tobacco-y uh, type vibe to it, whereas this one is a, a darker leathery vibe. Still retaining some of this tobacco, but it's smooth at the end of the day. Fantastic scent overall. Uh, so I kind of feel remiss if I don't give it a rating. If I'm going to go ahead and give it a rating in terms of itself, I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. And now the biggest deter the biggest thing that's detracting from it is its price and the fact that it's so difficult to find. Um, and, you know, if you were to take those things away, I might bump it up to an 8, believe it or not. So, yes, those things are taken away, but it's not taking it away a huge amount. All right? So that's pretty much my thoughts are on Vintage Creed. This is a little bit different of a fragrance. I wasn't able to, you know, have enough to go out and get people to smell it or anything like that. So this is all just on my sheer opinion of it. All right? So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Take care of yourselves and you guys have a great day.